So me and Hillbilly are doing some Valentine's Day gifts for our wives. We're gonna do it on the fast cut CNC. So I'm gonna put my fine cut 45 amp tip with my 45 amp fine cut shield into the head unit. We're gonna cut out some stuff and weld it all together. Just put this back in with the new tip and the new shield. Fire this baby up. And we'll show you what we're gonna make. And then turn it to 45 amps. We've got everything loaded up. We've got our Xbox controller. not even hot. All right, well, we're not gonna dunk it because it's not even hot, but you can kind of see what we're building. We're gonna build some metal roses for our wives, except for she wasn't supposed to show up and see. And then I bought my wife uh, real roses and we're fake making her a nicer rose. Hillbilly brought us some dinner, so we're gonna hurry and eat. It's called Good. hobo enchiladas. It's good. When I cut it on the plasma, all the petals and everything were still together. So we're just separating everything and I'm just cleaning up all the little tabs and then we're gonna weld this rose kit together. I found this DXF file a year ago and I was supposed to do this last Valentine's Day. <laughs> we're doing it now. Now we gotta figure out the length we need for the stem. How long is a long stem rose, Hillbilly? 12 inches maybe, I don't know. And I believe we stagger all these. And the little baby one, there, and then the bottom, that's our bottom. Okay, so this is gonna turn into a rose. Should turn out pretty cool. Cause I'm just adding a little texture to the leaf. So it kind of looks like a leaf so that when we fold it down, it looks like it's got leaf petals. Ah. It's called veins. Hillbilly corrected me, it's veins. Whatever, I'm not a rose expert. So now I gotta make three more textured veins. All right. I'm gonna weld the leaf on and then we're gonna stack all the petals or what will be petals on top of it. We got two roses ready, got them all welded. Now what we're gonna do is bend them all up so they look like a rose. This one's Hillbilly's, this one's mine. I think, yeah, Hillbilly's looks better, whatever. I got layer number one all folded up. Got four more layers to go. Hillbilly's working on his. How's it coming? It's a pain. Your wife will be so happy. I can only hope. Forming the petals. Like you're an expert. Right. We're getting there. I just gotta add some leaves to the stem to kind of contour the top. Mine is holding together. Hillbilly needs to reweld it. You broke it. Well, he needs to go back to welding class. Can you smell it? I can smell it. I got the tops all rolled. Got my little thingy majiggers here. I just gotta put my leafs on and this rose will be done. My darling. Hopefully, oh, she, my darling. hopefully she likes it. A little tighter. Body hammers are good for this. Look at that, looks just like a rose. All right, I'm gonna do some artsy welding. I'm gonna add a little bit of veining to mine. Kind of put some welds all over it. And then we'll put the my leaves on it. So it's not so straight. I rolled it was a lot easier. How'd you roll it? Open this up a little bit wider, put the uh, center vein down the center, and use one of these round bars. Getting hot? Shut. Way hot. I think I probably put my leaves too close together. I'll use this one to help kind of throw them off. One leaf. 
Put this one down here. Change of plan. Redo the leaf. Put the screw up, break it off, and go again. There's no screwing up with this stuff. Just happy little accidents. All right, we'll call that done. Look at that. That ain't bad. That, like, is deathly sharp. Just don't let the kids touch it. There's my cute little rose. Cute big rose. Cool. And that's how you do a rose. Should we put red clear on it? Let's do it. So we decided to give it a little bit of a pizzazz. We're gonna get tinted mid coat from the paint code RR and we're gonna put some red on it. And we're gonna let the clear just drip down off of it. Try to make it kind of cool. We're gonna mix that up and then we're gonna dip the roses, turn them upside down and just let that stuff run down it. We're gonna use magenta. We've got our clear poured out. We just gotta put one gram of red. Put some hardener in it. And that's it. Looks like blood. Red. Color of a rose. A little bit of spice. So I'm gonna dip it, get a bunch of clear on the petals, let it drip off. And we just wanna let it. I think that'll look cool. Don't you? Uh huh. We'll let mine sit. I think it's gonna look real cool. Kinda let it drip, however it's gonna drip. I should have done mine a little tighter, like yours. All right, we'll let them sit overnight now, and it is tomorrow. This rose is really heavy. I don't think Demery's ever gonna hold it or you know, sniff it or anything, so we need to build a holder. Don't move. I'm gonna make a mark. So I go five inches over here. Don't move. We go six inches and we're gonna go, what did I say, two inches? Let's go six and two and a half. I'm just kind of loosely drawn up how I want this. I've got my base all designed. I've got it put in the sheet cam. We're gonna pull it out, put it in the Mach 3 loader and burn it out. Pretty soon, I'll have this rose a holder. We got this all set up. Okay, well that was easy. Got it all welded up and done and just gotta walk it in. Okay, just like that. Now let's go present this to my lovely wife. Luckily, even though she was standing there, she had no clue what I was working on. What is that? <laughs> I have you something. Aww. I made you a rose. That's cool. I like it. I made it so it can sit on your desk. Oh. That's the real Valentine's gift. Shout out to Jonathan's Jewelry in Ephraim, Utah. Check him out. Thank you, Jonathan. Ring turned out awesome. How about you come with me and we go do a Q&A? Okay. We put a community post out. We asked you guys to ask us questions and we are gonna answer a bunch of them. Don't know how many. We've got Hillbilly in the back. We've got Big Dinner. The boss. The boss. And me. Ross Elliott says, but what's still original on that Suzuki? Didn't they replace almost everything? No, they didn't replace the sedimental value of it. And it still has Ed's frame. And Ed is gonna be super surprised when he gets to see this. Koppenhoff1 says, how would you have liked to work on the original body? We did want to cut it up and fix it and rebuild it and show you guys how we do it. But it would have taken lots and lots and lots and lots of time. Body swap it is, and we're pretty happy with that. Dr. Michael Bennett. Robbie, what are those tires on the Golden Nugget? Matt uses them on everything and they seem to work well for mud, snow, rock, and sand. I believe those are Milestar Patagonias. Thank you, Milestar, for the donation. And I think Ed's gonna be super happy with them. Jim Valier. It's the dinner question. How many horsepower is dinner? I would say probably about 360 horsepower. You know, he comes factory with about 250. He's a little souped up, pushing 360 horsepower. Get some monsters in me, I'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> Digger, why is dinner so awesome? Ooh. I don't know why I'm so awesome. How about, how about you guys answer that question? Why is dinner so awesome? Look at him, he's speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Till says, are you going to be upset if Matt scratches or dents the banana? Upset? That's job security. And just so you guys know, he did already scratch it. Look. Just look at it. 
Would you look at that? Just look at it. That's a scratch right there. Scratch. That'll buff out. That'll buff right out. <laughs> you mentioned Easter eggs on the banana job. Will there be Easter eggs in the nugget as well? I'll never tell. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you'll have to go down to Matt's when it's done and see if there's any little nuggies. <laughs> Do a chicken with a little chicken nugget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rick Bottoms, how many employees do you have working in your business? Why are Dinner and Hillbilly the only ones who get camera time? Are there us wanted felons? Well, we... <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Big Dinner, Cody, Chris, Hillbilly, Joe, and then me and Demry. We try to allot a couple hours a day to the projects for YouTube. The rest of my team, they're kicking butt. You guys don't see them on film because they are busy working. Yeah, we just hired three more. No. This one's for Big Dinner. Helen... Legales dinner. Are you dating or married? As to me, you'd make a great husband. Ooh. I don't think she's wrong. I'm not married. You're not in luck, dating. Helen. You are in luck. <laughs> Next one. Howard Greer. Does Ed have any idea yet about the rebuild? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Questions for the crew. What does everyone drive? Dinner, what are you driving? I drive 2013 Chevy Malibu. 1996 F 350 73 Power Stroke. And she rolls cold. <laughs> All right. What do you drive? I drive a 2022 Jeep Wagoneer. Perfect. All my vehicles get loaned out to customers. I sold my new truck. It don't... makes you sound like it's only my vehicle. <laughs> I, don't I don't own a truck. I don't ever drive. She drives more than me. I have to buy her a new car, but I don't have one. Cody, what do you drive? It's 04 Hyundai. What type of car is best suited for winning a demolition derby? 73 to 74 Cadillac. You wouldn't know. You don't win derbies. <laughs> <laughs> Says that wall of trophies. Mm. There's a first over here from Las Vegas. First yes. place right there in the center. First place right there. First place on the ground. First place power wheel. There's a first place Manti right behind it. There's plenty of first places on that wall. She's just being really, really rude. I got first place with you. Nathaniel Souza. Let's talk derby season. Are you going to be doing it this year? I found your GoPro vids on your channel. They are great because I like to see firsthand how you all communicate. But full arena shots for the big hits would be awesome. The plan is to derby, depending on how busy we are. Hillbilly's sole job used to be just building derby cars. He's graduated into the big leagues and he's actually working on cars now. <laughs> if we have time, we'll do derby. We'll see. We'll make time. We always have. Chase McMurray, have you thought about buying wrecked vehicles from Copart and fixing them up and selling them for some extra money as a side business? The problem with the world right now is salvage value is through the roof. You can't even buy a salvage vehicle. What that means is a wrecked vehicle that's gone to the auction, that's being sold for salvage. You're pretty much having to pay 50% of value to buy them. And at that point, it's not worth buying it to fix it and sell it. We have four wrecked cars sitting out back that we don't have time to fix that I own. How much wood? Could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Do you want the answer? Do you want the answer to that? I can't remember. A woodchuck would chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Boom! You're <laughs> 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 so good at pumping that. All right, next. Go off road. Question: Your shop looks packed. How big of a team do you have? We have 11 employees total. And what's your typical customer look like? Wreck, walk-in paint, body work, off-road recovery? 95% of our work is collision work. Insurance work, walk-in wrecks. Only about 5% of it is the custom. We are not necessarily a restoration shop. We are doing a few restorations, but right now, probably pushing what? A year and a half to almost two years out on restorations. We do Q and A's for fun, and we go towing for fun. We go on recoveries for fun. We like to break the Jeep for fun. I like fishing. <laughs> Dario Ribeiro, does a superficial cut in your hand affect the ability to detect dents? Probably, but this hand has no cuts. So it's working right now. There's no dent. There is now. Right here. Yeah, it's there an is. Itty bitty. Brent Cheever, what certificates are required to work in this field? And if you aren't a certified auto body technician, what are you allowed to work on? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we have a lot of iCar certifications. We have a lot of ongoing education that we like to take classes in. Everything is changing all the time. Me and Cody and a few other technicians, we go to those classes. We continue our education. Pretty much iCar, a lot of it. We're paint certified through PPG and Spies Hecker. Is there ever a situation where you will blend clear coat or do you clear the entire panel every time no matter what? If you ever blend clear coat, I would love to see that process. Love the channel. I never, ever, ever blend clear coat. The reason for that is it will fail. I try to minimize failures. So if an insurance company tries to tell us to blend a clear coat, we tell them no. There's a vehicle in the shop that people have tried blending the clear. That is the reason right there you do not blend your clear. They buffed it and it made it too thin 
and then now it's peeling back from the sun. If your clear is too thin, the UV rays will destroy it. So you gotta have a certain mill thickness on your clear coat for it to withstand the UV of the sun. Dr. Florida Man, when I work on projects, I get attached to them. What was the most influential project you had to give back to the owner? To be totally honest, my most favorite was the 50 ton wrecker we did for reliable towing. That thing was so awesome. I freaking loved that truck. I did not want to give it back to him. Wish we could have drove it back to him. Yeah, me too. I think the banana was a big one too. Well, that's true. We'll remember the banana forever and ever and ever. I really didn't want to give that one back either. David Van Oz de Lee. Hello, Robbie. I was wondering because we don't see these parts. Mm. Did you remind Matt that the bolts on the front shocks on the banana are still loose? The bolts on the shocks are still loose? Call me. Oh no, I gotta call Matt. Oh no. <laughs> hey, Robbie. How's it going, Matt? Good. Good, hey, I just needed to call you to remind you that the bolts on the front shocks on the banana are still loose. They're not. Oh. I was so worried. I think we left them loose because you said you were going to take them off. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm not even going to torque them. Okay, good. We built enough vehicles, we go over them. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let you get back to work. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. If he didn't know, now he does. <laughs> now he does. Now you do. <laughs> that, is, that is Mr. Danger. If you didn't know, now you do. And that's all we got. If you guys enjoyed that, watch this video right here. Our last Q&A and meet the crew. Check out the detail on the inside. Almost looks like it's a real one.